in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I sense in my heart to release the grace for structural establishment. Do you know what that means? That God brings you to your own place, Rehoboth. This is the kind of prayer that makes tenants to become landlords. This is the kind of prayer that makes people with empty hands to become full. There is a grace after you have suffered for a while that may God establish you settle you can i pray that prayer for you in the name of jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice everything in your life is rented rented from pillar to post i pray for you you dig a well and philistines come to cover it you dig wells and they come to cover it may god give you your own place may god give you your own space i say it again may my god give you your own place May my God give you your own space. One more time. May God give you your own place. May my God give you your own space. Hear me. When it was time for Jacob to go, Laban held him back and said, if I let this man go, I will lose because he used divination to find out that it was on account of Jacob's presence that increase came. There are many of you who desire to go, but there are people in your company and around your life who have found out that you are the profit factor in that organization. They will not reward you, yet they will not let you go. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Everyone in the spirit of Laban holding you down and multiplying years to your pain, be released to your place of destiny. 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 Place of destiny. The Lord gave us a prophetic word that for us as a global family that this is our year of exceeding great rewards. I'm sure you are already seeing the wonder working manifestations of this word. Do you know what that means? People who have been long forgotten. I read that scripture for you at the start of the year. Where men have deserted you and forsaken you. And where you have not seen the profit in serving God. This is the year God is coming to sort people one by one. We are just in April. Let me tell you the truth. God is still in the business of doing a quick walk. Is it in your Bible that the word of God is quick? Quick in every sense of the word therefore i pray for you every reward that has been hijacked by satanic demonic powers so that it should have entered your hand but it has been delayed by all kinds of orchestrations of witchcraft by prophecy may it enter your hand by prophecy may it enter your hand in the name of jesus christ Manifest your power today, oh, today. Come and manifest your power. Oh, God of signs and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Oh God of signs, oh God of 
to do with rewards you have to insist on your portion the devil will not let it happen just because it is your time you have to take your place by faith and insist that this is my season God has spoken and I believe him hallelujah one more prayer and then you'll be seated for a while my God are you seeing what God is doing in this place Hallelujah. I prayed a prayer, I think, week before last and last week. And one of the days while I was praying, I could just sense the glory of God and it was as though God was saying, well done. Pray that prayer again. I will tell you what the prayer is. That prayer of relocating you, relocating your audience. You remember that prayer? I'm saying it because I'm going to pray it again. So, if this is the man that God has destined to bless you and you go and you are preaching to this man, he, can, he may even trivialize you. You know why? Because this is not the man who was sent to reward what you carry. Listen, it's not enough to be gifted. You must pray that the people ordained to celebrate, honor, and reward your gift, that they are the ones who are positioned before you. Now, you don't have the power to gather those who need you. It is God that creates that connection. Yours is to walk with the Spirit to find your gifts. There are many preachers here. There are many businessmen here. There are many captains of industry here. Your problem is not lack of being gifted. Is that all the people you are serving don't have a recognition of your value and let me tell you it is an ugly thing to be in the sight of people who don't know your worth they will trivialize you even if you are Joseph Joseph had the power to offer solution to Egypt but nobody gave him a chance he interpreted the dream of the wine presser great talent great gift but they did not have the power to lift him he interpreted the dream of the wine presser. No, nobody to reward him. But when the king had a dream, same gift, same man, no addition, he was lifted immediately. Are we together? Now, with all due respect, and I say this not to brag, I've received several text messages from people here saying, Apostle, God gave me a song. I tried to get this song to the nations, but it did not go. But one day, God just made you to sing that song once here. Yeah. And the moment you sang that song once, I could not recover again. My ministry opened up because people went around looking, who sang this song that Apostle sang? God can use one man. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I'm saying if we as humans and as frail as we are, can command that kind of effect over the destinies of men. I'm careful the things I say and do. I've given examples with people. I will not mention a business. I gave a, one example with that business. One example with that business. And the person sent me the first fruit of that business. I couldn't believe it. If I didn't know the person, I would have said it's an armed robber. It happened in two weeks. People just said, Apostle said this. You see, this thing called influence is like a charm. One pronunciation. That is why when God gives you influence, you don't abuse it. Are we together? Someone sent me a text one day and said, sing my song now. I said, I, I don't even know who you are. I don't know, who, what are you saying? I just sing your song. You think I just do it mechanically? Keep laboring in the secret. 
Don't say Goliath, come now, let me kill you. Mm -mm. You just kill the bear. Huh? I'm teaching you how to do it. So don't send me anything to sing your song. Kill the bear. Kill the lion. Remain in the wilderness. One day, you will not know that's the day you will kill Goliath. If you kill Goliath in secret, nobody will clap for you. God knows how to make you kill Goliath in the open. And he will do it when you are prepared. Are we together? Yes. So I don't do that again. I just stood up and it was something about the person's business. I just held the thing. That was it. That whatever it is like a, you know, whatever the person is producing. I, I, I said I will not do that kind of thing again. If not, you create trouble. Because ministry, you are a father to everybody under you. So if you now make somebody's business and another person say, okay, well, you did it for this. Hold my own too. I'm selling banana. Hold the banana on your hand and say, eat this special banana. And you know, let me tell you something with people. Once people believe you, ba, if you say, eat that banana, they will insult you, but they will eat it. That one I can tell you. Human beings for you. So God will judge you if you take advantage of people and if you abuse influence. Influence is a trust. It should not be abused. But where it is good to, where it is necessary to be used for the sake of the kingdom, you can bring it out. Are we together now? Yeah. So I want to pray for you. Because many of you here, the reason why you came for Koinonia tonight, some of you are business people. And truly, the government needs your gift. Other people need your gift. Institutions, transcontinentally, they need what you carry. But you see, the issue here is that because of the sentiments that plague the world of men, are we together now? Except God intervenes, nobody will give you what is your own. Somebody can even collect your thing in your presence, you are seeing it. And there's nothing you can do. There are great preachers today. There is an audience that if you preach to and they discern what God has placed on your heart, I tell you from a ministerial standpoint, you will never be in certain positions again because you have paid your price under God. What you need is that prophetic push. If Joseph remained there, he would have died in that prison even though he had the solution. I want to pray for you. This is a grace that I've seen. I've enjoyed it. I know what it can do. When God repositions the right audience and if you are following online, please make sure you open up your hand, your spirit to receive. Great businesses, great doctors, great nurses, great engineers, great architects, but they are just sitting in the midst of dust because the person, and you see, it's a dangerous thing if the person hates you, is the one who will mark you. The person who hates you is the one who will mark your script. You already get zero before the exam. So God himself will relocate you. And someone will say, I've been praying for you. It's just that I didn't know you are the one I've been praying for. I stretch my hands again, Koinonia. In the name that is above all names, I call upon the lifter, the helper, the blesser, the one who exalts men. In the name of Jesus, every wrong audience, you have been wasting your time, your energy, your productivity at, by the mercies of God and by prophecy, I relocate you to the right ones. The right business audience. The right ministerial audience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every gift you carry that has not been rewarded, every gift you carry that is being downplayed, demeaned by people who do not know your value, I'm praying for you again. May God bring people who know your worth, bring people who know your value, and connect you to them by faith. Do you believe this prayer? One day someone will come close to you, maybe in a restaurant, and you hear the person saying, I just came from America. And we're looking for who to partner with we need an honest engineer and this is just you eating you will remember the prayer i just prayed now because you will reach out to the man and say sorry 
I heard you say you need a construction engineer. I said, yes. We have a project of 50 million US dollars and we are looking for someone who is of honest report. And you say, well, I'm available. He says, I don't know why I just trust you. And that becomes it. Your life just changes overnight. May your life change. May my God surprise you. In the presence of mockers, God will lift you. In the presence of naysayers, God will surprise you. And surprise them in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a while. The balance of the prophecy will come after our testimonies. Come and manifest your power. Gideo. Oh God of signs. Oh God of signs and wonders. Savior Redeemer. Come and manifest your power. Gideo. One more time. Oh God. Oh God of signs and wonders. Savior Redeemer. Come and manifest your power. Yes, sir. Let's take a few testimonies. Whilst this is happening, I want you to be writing your prayer request. How many of you are here to write your prayer request? If you're here and you're new and you did not come with your prayer request, go ahead as an act of faith. Begin to table your needs before God. And uh, in case you wrote your request but you did not write everything, here's your chance to complete it very quickly. Whilst that is happening, please help those under the anointing. Yes, sir. Let's take a few testimonies as we celebrate Jesus. I woke up yesterday morning with a burning sensation in my left ear. Yes. And as if there was a stone or something at the middle of the eye, my left eye. Yes. As if there was a burning sensation. So I was monitoring it till yesterday. It didn't stop. And what and happened it, now? As, as, as I came this, this evening, yes. you said we should place our hands wherever we feel we have a disease or whatever. So you mentioned anybody with eye condition yes. as I place my eye. When I remove my eye, I realize that I because it, it's worse when I blink my eyes. Yes. So since then I've been blinking my eyes to see whether no there's no, nothing. It's nothing. gone. Let's it's celebrate gone. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you, madam. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Next testimony. All right, so Apostle, this is a very interesting testimony. Yes, sir. And please, if you could just show us this. So he came here, he had an accident and you had an accident? Yes, on the third, on the 5th of March, we're driving from Mugele to Wari. So on our way going, Keke ran into our vehicle, uh, at the front oh, of our I'm vehicle. Seeing, I'm seeing a photo. Media, you are not able to get this, are you? And the vehicle somersaulted for four times. We you had an accident? Yes, sir. From where? Mugele to Wari. Yes. And the vehicle somersaulted for four times. I had a dislocated hand. But when we came into the service now, for, the, for about one month, I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do anything with the hand. Yes. But when we came into the service, I was having the pain. But immediately when you ask us to place our hands on, we are yes. having pain. I placed my hands on the shoulder. And Wait. it's gone. The pain is Lift gone. it up. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Look at this. He's even touching his back. Oh. Let's give Jesus praise. Congratulations, sir. Never returns to you again. The Lord preserves you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's celebrate him. Next person very quickly. Good evening. My name is Chamaka. This is my first time attending this church. Most welcome. All the welcome. way from Lagos. So, where we were praying about sicknesses. So, my husband has been feeling serious pains around his waist for years yes. now. So he just sent me a message that the pain on his waist has disappeared. Completely gone. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, we pray for you and for him. May the God of all grace preserve you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate her as she goes very quickly. Let's have one more and then we'll switch to the other side. Okay. Sir, all the cases here were healed of migraine. Migraine? Okay, so I came in with headaches. And while you asked us to pray, I sat behind you. I don't know if, I just saw two people move a pot off my head. It was already leaning towards my eye and I just realized I can't feel the strain anymore. I can't feel it. It's completely the gone. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare Amen. perfection for you. Amen. We call it done by the Spirit in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Yes, let's take a few testimonies. Apostle, she has had boil in her armpit for over a year. 
boil. She said, boil. He said, sometimes it gets so big that she cannot close her hand. Pee. So while you were ministering, you asked people to put their hands there, and then she put her hand there, and then the boil disappeared. The boil is gone. It's gone. And also, I am asthmatic. So before you started praying, I said, let me use my inhaler. You are asthmatic? Yes, I have been. I was okay. asthmatic. Okay. So I said, let me quickly use my inhaler so I can have enough breath to pray. But something just told me to leave it. And then the second thing you mentioned was respiratory issues. So I just want to thank God because I'm not taking the inhaler back home. Boil gone, asthma gone. Amen. Gone forever in Amen. Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus. Next person, very quickly. Most of these are Osha. She has had lower back pain, so she could not even function effectively as an Osha. So, but when you ask people to place their yes. hands, now she could bend very well. The pain is gone. Bend, my dear. Any pain? Let's celebrate Jesus. It's good for Oshas to be healed. It helps them work better. Yes. Tw Twelve years, stomach pain healed. Stomach pain. Yes. Medically verified. Yes. He Let said, me hear him. He, Apostle, I've always seen you as an uncle. I'm May God to bless you in the name of Jesus. I'm I appreciate you. What happened? Just straight to the all point. All right. I have been having ulcer for a very long period of time, and I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder about seven years ago. Bipolar. Yes. And to the glory of God, before the prayer I even started, God healed me of everything. You see that thing? <laughs> oh my God. And he said he ate cola nuts about 2015, and that was what brought he ate about cola nuts. Cola nuts. Where? In the house. It was orchestrated by the occultic world to plan uh, to kill me. You are healed okay. now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every demonic thing, bipolar. Look at a fine young man like this, and that spirit of madness. Anybody that projects any demonic madness to you, it will backfire a thousand times. I say it again, it will backfire a thousand times. Anyone who digs a pit for you will fall into it. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. You gave a word of knowledge that a woman was going to throw up. She said she wasn't sick, but immediately you gave that word of knowledge. She just had to rush out and then she went to go and vomit. You? Yes. Okay. And what has happened to you now? I'm okay. Completely? Yes, sir. Mm. There are things only God can do. There are things only God can do. My sister, I pray for you. Place your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the God who has touched you, who has healed you, who has perfected you, you remain perfected forever. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, please. Um, Apostle, I had a surgery 2019. So yes. I'm no complications, no whatever. But recently I started feeling pains on that particular place where I had the surgery. And before now, my sister had told my mom that she had a weird dream where I had to do a surgery on top of the surgery that I had back then in 2019. When she said this to my mom, I was not feeling any pain. So I laughed over it. I'm a KSOM student. I come to Koinonia. You know, I'm like, oh, mom, would you playing? So hold on. Hold the... Hold two people who start laughing under the anointing. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. It's not Pentecostal gibberish. It's a sign in the spirit that God is bringing joy, joy. I'm saying it again. You see, this is a ministry of signs and wonders. You can't fake this. These people are real human beings. They are not animals. You see, this is not trial and error. If it is not there, it's not there. It's as simple as that. By these signs, there's a reason why there are two, because in the mouth of two or three, a matter is established. It's a prophetic word for you. That for those who have cried for those who have been asking lord how long will i see your faithfulness god is saying i should tell you this is a prophetic word for you joy comes for you now i want you to receive it joy comes for you now yes please go ahead so apostle i said i was saying i i started feeling the pain after afterwards i started feeling the pains and um, when I came to service, it just when you said we should put our hands, I put my hands. It's there gone now. And it's gone completely. In the no name of Jesus there. Christ, that pain leaves perfection and wholeness in your body. Amen. In the matchless name of Jesus. Next person, very quickly. She had a strain in her ankle 
four days ago that she has been limping. Even when she came to service, she was limping. But as the prophetic prayer was going on, she placed her hand there and then she's no longer in limping. In Healed the by the of power Jesus. of God. I want to pray for a lady. I just saw a vision. You are all ladies in your family. All. There are no men. You are all ladies in your family. And at where is that person? Um, there's something I want to break very quickly now. Very, very quickly. Please just allow me one minute. Let me see. You are all ladies. Please, don't, we know your family members. If you come out here and you are not all ladies, let's be disciplined before God. Right? I know everybody wants to receive, but listen to the instruction first, please. All ladies, come. The Lord is giving me a word. There's something I want to break very quickly. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Come, quickly. You are worthy of it all. When God gives a prophetic word like this, when I start praying, please, you will have to stay where you are so you don't distract us. We're going to pray so that some of you may not know why. There's nothing wrong in being all ladies. I hope you understand the point now. It's just a word that God has given me. It's only God that knows what he's delivering you from. Huh? It doesn't mean that if you are all ladies, that's some of you, God wants to open doors that have tied down ladies in that family. Huh? There are some of you, you've never been able to rise. I want to break something things now. Lift your right hand if you can. Father, you gave me a word for these ladies right now. I'm going to pray for you. And for some of you, the power of God is going to come on you. You will be, you will be surprised at the kinds of testimonies that you will start giving. Father, I stretch my hands. You gave this prophetic word. Every family here that has been under the embargo of darkness, arresting ladies not allowing their doors to open whether maritally financially in terms of fruitfulness at the count of three let there be a baptism of deliverance one two three be delivered now be delivered now i curse those spirits now i release those families ancestral curses yokes covenants vows be delivered now the spirit of death be delivered now begging and borrowing be delivered now women returning back to their parents homes I curse that spirit now for all of you who have come out I pray for you your loved ones may not be here but you are standing in for their sake. Whatever will destroy the testimony of your family, we come against it now. Anti-marital spells, we come against it now. Anti-career spells, we come against it now. Covenants, charms, yokes, all kinds of ancestral manipulations, be free now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Please return to your seats rejoicing. Carefully, carefully, don't march on one another. If someone is under the anointing, just, just move carefully. Let's celebrate them as they go. 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 So we save time very quickly. Who is ready? Okay, please go ahead. 
Please listen for a few minutes. Apostle, last year water entered her ear. Last year water entered her ear. And so she couldn't hear with this right ear. This is the elder brother. So she, they are supposed to go to the hospital tomorrow. But said they should go. Oh, they are supposed to go yes. tomorrow. This Let me hear you speak. Very quickly, one minute. A Apostle, uh, she has been complaining of ear pain for three months. So we have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I told her, no, let's come to Koinonia first and see. Why you asked everybody to place their um, hands on where yes. they are feeling pain, and you pray, she placed her, head, her hand um, at her ear, and after the prayer, I asked her to check it. She said the pain is gone, that she can now hear properly. That she can now hear properly. Thank God. My dear, place your hand there. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection for you now. I cause that demonic thing, you are free and free forever in Jesus' name. Very quickly, next person. Pain in her hand that she could not even swing, but while you were praying, I, I kept it, looking since a because, week ago. just a moment, my dear. I, this is for everybody. And I presume many people will respond to this prophecy, but there is a particular lady. You are going to rise to be a mighty teacher of the word. A teacher is an anointing. You will be known in this nation as a teacher of the world. This is not just careless, it's careless prophecy. A, a sound teacher of the world. You will be surprised how people will invite you for meetings. Accurate prophetic revelatory teachings is a grace that is coming on you. I know many people are responding and of course people are connecting but there is one person that God is speaking about. When you begin to rise, people will make reference to this prophetic word. It's the grace of a teacher, a woman. It would be something that has not been easily seen in this nation. A teacher, a woman. Yes. Good evening, Koinonia. About a week ago, I've been feeling associate pain down from my arm. Yes. I, I was even thinking I slept over my arm. What happened now, then, my dear? Then it was not migrating down to, up, to, up, up to my ear. Yes. Even when I came to the church, I was still feeling severe pain. I was holding the ear pain, and I told God that, give me a testimony, and I will come out boldly to testify. Immediately, the word of knowledge came from the altar. You measure my cakes, and immediately I felt something left me, and I can lift the hand. Hallelujah. And all the gone. Hallelujah. There is a grace that is locating people who are involved in building, building, construction. I just saw the vision of a building. Some of maybe architects, maybe builders, please just allow me to do what God is asking me to do. Whether you are an architect, whether you are a builder, you are involved in anything construction. There is an anointing God wants to place upon you now. You will marvel and wonder at the doors that will open after tonight. I don't know who that person is. I don't care whether you're a first graduate or you've been there forever. In the name of Jesus, because God has revealed this, you are involved in building of any kind, architecture, uh, building, supervision, anything around construction. I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. Some of you is governments that will call you. Some of you is institutions that will call you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a truck and I'm seeing food, agricultural products on that truck. And I know what this means. I want to pray for all of you who are involved in anything that has to do with the agro-allied industry. From farming to processing to selling to exporting, to importing. Why God is doing this, I do not know. But in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. You have the faith to believe I'm praying for you. Your various businesses, your various enterprises, I declare, rise to a new level. A new level of supplies in the name of Jesus. There's someone here, the line of your business is tiles. Tiles that you use for flooring, 
and for finishing of the home. The Lord is telling me that you are about to have a very fearful testimony. Tiles. Tiles. Like tiles that you floor, you put on the floor. I'm praying for you. I don't know where that person is. But because this word has come from God, let that anointing rest upon you. In Jesus' name. Sometimes it's, it's like a river in the spirit. I'm seeing someone, you are using a pen and a paper. And I'm seeing the pen leaving and I'm seeing money there. This is like a consultant. Consultancy. You write things, proposals, you help people prepare their businesses. I don't know who that person is. I stretch my hands right now. In the name that is above all names. Let the grace for you rest. This is what you came to receive. I release that grace upon you right now. Am I wasting your time? Hallelujah. Hmm. I'm seeing someone sit down in front of a camera. This is like a broadcaster or a journalist. You are involved in broadcasting. I'm seeing God moving you from where you are walking to another place. In the name of Jesus, like you're a broadcaster, maybe in a TV station, or some radio or whatever internet I decree and declare like I have seen may God honor his word and relocate you by the spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a very massive cake before me this is what I'm saying cake you are involved in pastry of any kind cake or whatever it is in the name of Jesus Christ who needs you and who can pay who can reward you may they find you speedily may they find you speedily in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is asking me to forbid something i'm seeing now i'm seeing a truck i won't mention the name because i'm on air but i'm seeing a truck is a truck carrying like fuel diesel or gas I'm seeing it just capsize the road and burning a few cars. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. When God reveals like this, it does not give joy to see a negative prophecy come to pass. It doesn't authenticate that you are a man of God. It shows that you have vision with no power to correct it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't know why God is showing me this, but if there is anybody's family here that has been programmed by hell to be burned in any accident with a tanker, we avert it now. Shout amen. We avert it now. Amen. Hallelujah. Lend me one minute to use the story of that. These are lovely children here. If there is anybody, see this business of kidnapping and the rest is an unfortunate thing. Um, we are supposed to sell the best of our nation and I will continue to say that Nigeria is a great nation. I love Nigeria proudly, truly proudly Nigerian. But it, we will not shy away from the realities of the times. We thank God for all of our forces, our military people who are tirelessly. In fact, I think we should pray for the military before we finish Koinonia today. Do you, are we in agreement? We we'll pray for police, army, air force. Some of your loved ones are part of them. We have to pray. That will not they will not go for war and come back as dead bodies in the name of Jesus but then it's very important for us to know this I'm praying let a mark of exemption rest on you and your children yeah. say amen oh. yeah. let a mark of exemption rest on you and your children yeah. hear me any car that is by a kidnapper, may you not enter it. Any place where there are people gathered and there are kidnappers, no matter what form or fashion they come, may your discernment work and may you know and stay away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at how God rescued that lady. Someone saw the man when he was running away. If not, that would have been the end of it for our children. You see that now? And no matter how disciplined you are, you can't control your children 100%. When they are in school, you are not there. Sometimes they return home by themselves. By all means, may they be protected. 
no one koinonia child will be missing under the hands of wicked men where there are no men there let the earth fight them in the name of jesus christ okay very quickly apostle god is visiting children amen how are you darling straight to the point my head has been paining me and it was so severe anytime i anytime i want to do something or work my head just starts paining me and i'll not have strength what happened to you now immediately you finish praying my head stopped paining me and it has stopped paining me in the name of jesus christ that headache will never return again you are blessed let's celebrate her as she goes god bless you next person praise the lord I want to thank God for the gift of life. I want to thank God that my leg was having a severe pain. Yes. My two legs, sometimes it will twist my knees. Sometimes I have muscle strain. I don't understand my leg again. What I happened just to you now? Immediately once you pray, you told us that we should touch the parts that is paining us. I touched my leg and it got healed. It's gone. Yes. It will never return to you again. Yes. Let's celebrate her in Jesus' name. Okay, one more and then we'll turn to. Praise the Lord. Um, last year, this same April, I had an accident. We had an accident on our way to a mission outreach. The car somersaulted. It just lost control and somersaulted. So my head somersaulted twice. My head was under. Like when the car overturned, my head was under. So my neck twisted. I had an issue with my neck. So I was on neck collar. This is my picture. I was on neck collar for almost two months two months that was last year so early this year around january the pain just came back so severely affecting my yes. shoulder one month before i came i came to abuja on i think on the 25th or 24th of march i was wearing a neck collar a day before i came to abuja in fact, while i was on when i was praying for the journey that morning i picked the neck collar because i could not do anything with my let my right hand i couldn't do anything with it so when i came i said i'll start doing small small things but i couldn't do heavy things i could not just use this right hand well what happened to you so then? while i came to koinonia the best comfort i had like in this neck and this shoulder for for months now this is the best as i stepped my foot here sat down that's the best comfort i had so while you were praying you prayed for someone that had a neck and a shoulder pain after the prayer finished i just turned twisted i couldn't if i can't twist this hand it's been like lift it up let's see go ahead any pain your neck left and right go ahead any pain koinonia let's celebrate a miracle here my dear the Lord will preserve you. Anyone here ordained by hell to die in a motor accident, I decree and declare you are exempted as a result of your coming here. Listen, it's not that it will somersault and then you will survive. May it not happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will preserve your going out and your coming in. Pastor Jake, yes, please. Sorry, so, Apostle, this 15-year-old boy... My, my leg was... It's true that God is touching children, oh, you see? My leg was spinning me over one year. Your leg? Yes. Okay. I didn't do anything with the leg. I just slept and I woke up. It started spinning me. Which of them, my dear, left or right? Right. Right. Yes. What happened now? Now, as you were praying... So, sir, maybe just to quickly help yes. him. So, he initially was using a cane. So December last year, he stopped using the cane. January, the Lord touched him again when he came to Koinonia. And today, finally, he had a pain. Um, he came here having that yes, pain sir. and he was healed instantly. Yes. Completely. Ron. In the name of Jesus, may you grow to become a fine young man. May God use you mightily. Amen. And every devil that wants to cut short your life goes to hell. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Next person, very quickly. All right, sir. So she has at least not less than two cases. Yes. Yes, sir. So um, I had a really bad pain. I've had it for about four years on my right arm yes. and my right legs. And then when we were praying, I started to chant. I fell under Do the we anointing. Have all, just a moment, my dear. Yes. Do we have all the requests here? Please, let's, let's be sure. Ushers, if you're yet to submit your request, can you wave it right where you are? 
and then we'll request that you pass it to someone by your left and right the extreme left or right we'll pick it up and then we'll pray very quickly right now let's see i always hate to have to cut people during the testimonies but um miracle services are usually very very extended services but we have to work with time so my apologies already for those who may not have a chance to testify by the way pr or all those involved for those who are not able to testify please do well for those who are interested let's give them priority so that we allow them to testify any other day so that they are not discouraged when they have to come and testify let me say it now every time we ask people to come if you do come out and um, for whatever reason you are not allowed or chance to testify please do not feel discouraged you have demonstrated your faith before god and we have seen you and you can be sure that that miracle is preserved in jesus name that being said we may have to take one or two people each and then i'll just pray generally for the rest if there are any notable ones we can get it very quickly yes please very quickly my dear so, so a few seconds. um after i finished um praying after i fell on the anointing and stood up the pain in my right arm and my right leg left gone completely yes, sir. also before you said it's a chance i called my sister she had a really bad case of migraine and then i called her back and she said it was gone gone forever yes sir also i had like a really big lump in my left breast for about eight years and then after i went to check and it has reduced greatly in size may it disappear completely Amen. and may god preserve his word over your life Amen. and your sister in Jesus name yes I was diagnosed in the year 2014 of uh, chronic hepatitis B so I was here last uh, last miracle service so when you asked us to go to the medical stand for checkup when I went I was confirmed negative so I wasn't it's, listen very well chronic hepatitis B you know what that means if there's any yes medical doctor, what happened to you now? you've been completely healed yes, yes, sir. yes sir. let's yes, give sir. Jesus a big hand clap for him we declare we do not take for granted that miracle. Praise that is a real miracle there. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Yes. Praise the Lord. My own is my finger. I have a injury since January. I fall on my hand. So I cannot do my hand like this. I cannot fold my hand. But now... Right now you can fold yes, it. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. So, sir, we have a few more testimonies okay, let's online take, too. Let's take two or three. Can you find two or three? And then, um, please, okay. everyone, make sure you wait. Let me just speak over you. My apologies. We may not be able to take more than that for the sake of time. Apostle, we have testimonies from Tony in Germany. He says he has had chronic back pain and could not bend. Tony from Germany, back pain. Chronic back pain. Yes. He could not bend 10 degrees forward or backward. Mm -hmm. But after you mentioned his case, he can now bend 180 degrees. Amen. Hallelujah. This is from Loretta. Tony, you are following me. God bless you. Perfection in Jesus' name. Yes, please. This is from Loretta in the USA. She said that immediately you spoke about people who have something in them, who had swallowed something. She coughed and vomited something. And she has been trusting God to speak in tongues and glorify God in that language for a long time and it had never come. But immediately she coughed that out. She started speaking in tongues immediately. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you, my dear, all the way from the U.S. This is from Jeremiah. He has been diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis. Mm. And on being diagnosed, he, he had a call. He was on a call. Yes. But immediately you mentioned his case. He dropped the call, laid his hands on the TV and received immediately he did so he said all the pain is gone gone he has never had his back this good until today praise you are god perfected perfected following online in the name of jesus christ and lastly this is from ifain he had a bike accident three months ago and dislocated two bones on the left leg so haven't hasn't been able to walk or do anything on his own but today when apostle prayed for fracture of the bones and he got healed and those using crutches should keep it and he followed the instructions glory to god he can now walk he can now walk without crutches. two bone fractures two, two bone, bone fra fractures two bone fractures that's a real he miracle can now, walk. now for all of you who are here ladies and gentlemen please lift your hands and for those who have received across the globe in the name of jesus we celebrate god for your miracles and we declare that those miracles remain permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the doer continue doing his mighty works in your lives. And for all of you who have come out to testify, your miracles remain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's celebrate them. 
this is the moment where we pray for our requests for those of you who are coming here for the first time this is a very important session um, we've stretched the time my apologies but it is very important because number one we're ministry of prayer we believe in the ministry of prayer we have a prayer answering God not just a prayer hearing God he hears and he answers hallelujah and there are many ways that you know God has answered number one is by faith putting your confidence in his word number two God answers because you will see physical evidences like the woman with the issue of blood the Bible says she felt within herself that the blood her fountain had dried number three one of the ways you know you have received is by joy and peace the presence of joy and peace is proof for you that God has answered you hallelujah and so when we pray this way even if we prophesy we see impact and because we're limited um, most miracle services are as long as vigils so that you are able to deal with the issues and the matters of men's lives but we cannot do that the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet and um, but then this for me I love to pray on the requests because it is the most accurate representation of your desires not only is it personal known to God alone nobody gets to read once this is done we go and burn it and then it is done but because this is the most accurate representation of your desires and the clearest expression of your faith hallelujah so I want us to believe with God and believe with me as we pray I'm not going to ask you to stand this time around I'll ask you to sit only that you will stretch your hands as an act of faith please stretch it towards me and begin to make prophetic declarations I'm going to be on my knees for a minute and lay my hands on all of these requests and I want you to just agree with me as you receive by faith that all that I've dropped here in the name of Jesus Christ they come as a harvest of answers for me if we still have any requests please let me have them go ahead pray let it be from the depth of your heart just for a minute we're declaring over this request in the name of Jesus Christ Lord are you praying step in do the impossible do the impossible Lord step in do the impossible do the impossible father we declare that you will do the impossible you are praying let there be a release of financial miracles marital miracles healing miracles career miracles restorations change of stories sabra di barato salegre feneke paratos cabrende gelesh rakata barata barato sabra di meleke baratos yata shale sarenta ruka barakos kala grest prada barando sobres embra tushka lebratos cabrede balaj go ahead and declare for my loved ones miracles unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ agree with me as I pray every request here 
I decree and declare it returns to you as a testimony. Every challenging situation here represented, may it find the help and the mercy of God. Financial mountains fall like Dagon before the ark. Every situation of concern, we bring it before the Lord, the one who answers prayer. May you receive visitations. Shout Amen. May you receive interventions in the name of Jesus. For some of you, your testimony begins tonight in the name of Jesus. For some of you, by next week Sunday, you will, you will come back with all your requests answered. Therefore, I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me speak over your life. We're wrapping up. Let our King be lifted up. Let your name be lifted up. Let your praise be lifted up. Oh, oh. May my God prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. May my God anoint your head with oil. May your cup overflow. Lack and want is far from you. I say it again to a believer, lack and want is far from you. This grace that is called favor, let it rest upon your life. Let it rest on your business. Rest on your ministry. I cause prayerlessness from your life. I cause prayerlessness from your life. Everything that has eroded your passion for the study of the word, I declare let that force live your life forever. Fresh grace for the word. Fresh grace for the house of God. In the name of Jesus, every wrong company around your life deceiving you, misleading you, I separate you from them forever. Shame and reproach is far from your life. Dishonor is far from your life. Regret is far from your life. In the name of Jesus, find speed in your destiny. Find speed in your destiny. I declare restoration of everything lost. May God amplify your voice. Amplify your gift. Open the book of remembrance on your case. Bring to your life great men. Connect you with strategic kingdom opportunities. You will love the Lord all the days of your life. Death is far from you. Failure is far from you. I call you a sign and a wonder. I say it again. I call you a sign and a wonder. Manifest as a sign and a wonder. Go and be a deliverer. In the name of Jesus. For your sake, may God lift your family. I promise to pray a prayer. As a family of faith, a responsible one at that, we pray for our nation, Nigeria. We pray for the entire continent of Africa, but we pray particularly for our nation, Nigeria. We pray for the military, the navy, the air force, the police, all of the paramilitary, we decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, they are empowered to keep and maintain peace in this nation. Beyond their professional abilities, let grace speak in their lives. We decree and declare that our military personnel will not lose their lives in battle. I pray that they are empowered to bring the causes of mayhem to justice in this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare all your loved ones who are involved in the military, air force, police, they are preserved in Jesus' name. This nation will keep going from glory to glory. This week, experience grace. Experience favor. In Jesus' name I pray. Wave your hands to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
you need Jesus fast you need to make it right with Jesus before you leave for your home tonight for your sake we're stretching for a minute or two more from our time because we want you to make it right with Jesus you came to this place tonight whether you are inside or outside please all stand we're wrapping up already and you are yet to make a genuine decision for Jesus we have just a minute for you or you are here and you want to rededicate your heart your life as far as your work with God is concerned I will count one to five let me request that you leave your seat if you're coming from outside you will need to rush to come stand before me here I count one to five and for all those who desire to come please pick your bags your Bibles and everything you came to church with and make your way boldly as we clap for you let's begin our counting now one please appreciate them as they come two koinonia is the best three come to Jesus young and old male and female come to Jesus four it pays to make it right with Jesus you don't have to kneel my dear please stand please stand and keep standing if they insist then let them be but let them stand so we can have some more space the final count now five let's clap for them as they come hallelujah thank you very much I want to salute all of you for this courageous decision for those who are not here you may do well to just connect online or connect um, facing your LED screens so that will save time I want to thank all of you for making this noble decision it is a very noble decision to surrender your all and your everything to the Lordship of Jesus may I request that you lift your right hand say this after me as loud and as clear as you can say Lord Jesus one more time say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you are the Son of God I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord my Savior and my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never amen I declare you preserved by the blood based on the authority of God's word I declare your sins forgiven I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God from tonight the power to live a victorious Christian life is released upon you you go from glory to glory and from grace to grace amen and amen please do me a favor of moving to my right you see the counselors waving the placard they will have a word with you very quickly for a minute or two and you are back to your seat let's honor them as you go thank you thank you thank you have you been blessed tonight let's give Jesus one last round of applause give him a big big hand clap in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now let me encourage you to invite as many people to when you're coming to church next week make sure you invite people we invite people because it is an opportunity to help them experience the life of God the transforming power of the Spirit and of course for as many who cannot make it on site do well to connect with us online all through our social media platforms and I trust that God will bless you in the name of Jesus a very big thanks again to all of you who have taken the time to travel from outside this city outside this nation we appreciate your time with us and may the Lord bless you in Jesus name together let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen God bless you and see you next week Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you
got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.